LeBron talking warriors. Trade LeBron James. Trade Anthony Davis. I would actually trade Zion. I have begged. Damian Lillard for years to come to the New York Knicks. It was reported that the Knicks were in trade discussions surrounding Donovan Mitchell. The front office of the Hawks has the green light. That would include moving on from Trey Young. What is up? Welcome back to Coors Light. And today we are doing something brand new because this is a brand new channel. So we are just rolling here. We are trying an entire day dedicated to the NBA trade machine. Now, if you did not know, the NBA trade machine works as follows. We pick two teams. We basically trade out like it's NBA 2. Okay. I'll make sure we are following the NBA salary cap rules. What the trade machine also shows us is projected wins plus or losses. So in essence, number one, save Luca. Two, save Giannis. Both of those near and dear to my heart, man. Number three, getting Anthony Edwards some help. But guys, before we continue to celebrate the launch of Coors Light, we are giving away a VIP experience to game four of the NBA finals. Plane tickets, a room, incredible seats. It is all included for game four of the NBA finals finals for one lucky person who is subscribed to Coors Light. The winner will be picked on June 1st. All you have to do to enter is subscribe and turn on post notifications for Coors Light. Good luck. I cannot wait to pick the winner. This is going to be incredible. But right away, let's just start with Luca. We're on ranking all 29 teams as possible destinations if the Maverick start asks out. Utah Jazz. The Jazz are currently slated to have 11 tradable first round picks in the summer of 2024. We can't really use a trade machine for that as much. We do have the favorites tier one new york knicks with the knicks i really want them to succeed so instead i feel like right here i promise to never get a failure ouch So after a lot, I have learned a lot here. The Mavs are over the luxury tax threshold. Somehow the Mavs are getting back less money, but we still have to work within that frame. So that means we need to unload a contract. Okay, so let's unload Bertans, right? Or Kleber, what do we want? Bertans or Kleber, let's look into them. Who are we eliminating? So as we see, both of them not great, but Bertans, I would say, for trading away Luca, you know, Bertans, but I think you'd be getting back Julius Randle, right? I think the Mavericks, if this is going to happen for the New York Knicks, I think the Mavericks would be going with, we're going to get an established all-star back along with giant young talent, RJ Barrett. Simple, okay? Well, personally, I don't think that is enough. I'm thinking, you know, we add in Grimes, Toppin, we try, trade success. Somehow both teams lose, but successful. Now in this situation, it says New the New York Knicks would lose 10 wins, but they would, gain Luka. I think they gaining the future of Luka Doncic forever. Does this even seem that wildly unrealistic if the Mavericks were going to make a move? But I just feel like, you know, this is a package that the Knicks could throw out there. You're not getting laughed at. So now that would be a Knicks fan's dream. Maybe the NBA's dream as well. It needs to be mentioned that the Oklahoma City Thunder, they are going to be able to throw out any kind of package for anyone with all of the picks that they have. Along with Shea. No, let's just go actually to uh, Oklahoma City. And then we're going to finish Lucas off quickly with Denver. I like the idea of that. By the way, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for being an OG to this channel. Please, if you can subscribe and turn on post notifications if you're enjoying this content. If you are enjoying the video, we are on the road to 10,000. Then eventually 1 million subscribers here. So again, thank you for being here right now. Let's get back to the video. Okay. So right here, we've got Luca, Dort, Holmgren, Williams, Williams. How are we feeling? How are we feeling about this package along with picks? Thunder win a game. Now with this, the Mavericks, of course, are rebuilding with you. Dort is a solid long-term player to have. And then you're banking on Chet Holmgren becoming a star. Meanwhile, the Thunder would be able to keep Giddy and Shea. Now also maybe you trade Giddy. Let's try trading Giddy here. And surprisingly, it was not that hard to trade Josh Giddy either. If you were the Thunder, you are definitely throwing this package out there, right? To the Mavericks. Now it says the Nuggets are out of tradable first round picks, but they would put both Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. on the table. So would Dallas go in win now mode? And with this approach, we would have the Denver Nuggets, I guess, failing in the playoffs this year and then deciding that they want to put together possibly the greatest duo of all time. So. Jamal and Porter, you gotta go. Luca and then probably Bertans. Trade successful. Boom. And suddenly Bertans is draining it. Do I think this trade will happen? I have no idea, probably not. I would think that the Thunder 
would come in with a huge offer and that I think the Knicks with Randall and then, I mean, if they're able to get Brunson involved and trade them him somewhere else, that might be the key for the Knicks because the whole fact that Brunson played on Dallas last year definitely is a factor here. And I'm going to pull Giannis up now. Here is Giannis's contract, what he's working with. Now, of course, after a first round exit to the Miami Heat, Giannis is signed up until 2025 player option in 2026. So the Bucks do not have to do anything here, which would mean I would assume maybe the Knicks would be the type of team that could pull this off. Are the Bucks willing to take a drop down in Randall? right along with rj now as like a young talent to build around and so they still have the core of randall middleton and drew holiday which definitely not as exciting definitely not as fun of a team you want Giannis, and on the knicks side you get the star that you've been looking for trade successful and boom new york knicks six more wins this is the type of trade i would think the bucks would make because in order to rebuild they would have to blow up their entire team they would have to trade Chris, Drew, and Giannis in one offseason. It's really, really hard to get fair trade value out of all three of those players all in one offseason. So I would think that Milwaukee would at least try the, we'll take a step back approach. We'll take a Julius Randle. We'll build around RJ Barrett. And we'll pretend that losing Giannis wasn't devastating. That's what I would think. So I've pulled up the Chicago Bulls and I'm just like, why? I say we come back to the Bulls. I want to know in the comments, should we try to build the Bulls up in the next edition of this? We are definitely doing more or should we instead go for the rebuild here because personally i think as long as lonzo is out and has this contract i don't see the bulls winning i think he was the key to everything i thought his ball movement i thought his ability as a point guard zach levine and demar Derozan are scoring types vucevic is a scoring type got a lot of scores on the roster we had one playmaker and so we are going to finish this video with the man anthony edwards who we have actually been doing a main channel video on now as we can see carl anthony towns blocked he is a designated player so we cannot do anything with him right now but we are going to envision a world where Anthony Edwards and Kat, those are the two, and we are trying to move Rudy Gobert? Is this going to return any result? Dallas Mavericks. Toronto, Atlanta, and Chicago. Perfect, okay. So Chicago, what are we doing on that one, boy? We got Rudy. We're, I mean, we need the defense. Vooch is blocked. June 29th, contract over. So then DeMar would become an incredible, incredible vet for Anthony Edwards to learn from, I would think. And then what, we need to give them more? More salary, like Caruso as well. How do we feel about this one? How do we feel about this one? Timberwolves pick up a win. We lose three. Toronto and Atlanta. Okay, so we definitely have to be looking at Toronto and Atlanta. So Atlanta is interesting. Okongu, that's a great trade piece. Along with AJ, those are two really solid. Or Bay, two very solid trade pieces. It's failing by 10 mil. Do we have to do Hunter in here? Take out Capella, Hunter, AJ. The Hawks are betting that Rudy Gobert is the defensive player of the year type. The Timberwolves get just more talent all around for sure. You would think in theory that a defensive Rudy Gobert who's standing in the paint and a Carl Anthony Towns who is trying to be a stretch for playmaking big man in his own right, that should theoretically work, but they're both just too big body, I think. There is at least definitely a possibility of a trade here i'm curious what you guys think i'm not myself giving up this package i want i want to be clear i'm not giving this up the the raptors maybe that is the answer we are seeking to finish this yeah we're working with og it's so like just this failed okay so i'm assuming we would get a trade that would be centered around getting a nice wing for the timberwolves so instead we would have cat we'd have ant we have OG here. Now, on top of that, how much money do we need to work with? 12 million from the Raptors. Overall, nice trade. I think it would be, would it be that interesting? I mean, at the end of the day, this one's not doing it for me. I like the Atlanta Hawks. That was my final answer with saving Anthony Edwards. I wanna know, what did you think down below? What trades do you think are actually realistic? what do you think about this in general? So there we have it, Coors Light number three in a row. So if you are enjoying the videos, please subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video. Let's get that 10,000 and then let's get that one million. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You are awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day. And cue that music. What's up, Linda? You ran for the 2 p.m. production meeting? My calendar's up to date. Did you check? Every hour is blocked off as dame time. Two o'clock? Nah, that dame time happens to be lunchtime today. Sorry. <laughs>